So, part three, Dollar Store Adventure. Alice LPS. This is a mini series where I check out the dollar stores in Japan and find out which one's the best. In the first episode, we checked out Daiso, and in the second, we checked out Kandu. But in this part, we're checking out Seria, which is actually my personal favourite out of the bunch. And I'm gonna show you why. Honestly, it wasn't just the items they had to offer, it was the space of the shop. The shop's all kind of large and not many people were in them. They're kind of like hidden gems. So you could really like spend your time shopping and you don't feel like an inconvenience at all. So let me show you what I got. The first thing I got was a kitty cat notebook. Or as the kids call it these days, a free note. Kiri wa naseru. Jucho. I think I, my Japanese is not the best, but we have cats and a free note. Who doesn't like cats, honestly? Look at him. He is relaxed. And there is a theory behind the madness of the name free note. Because it doesn't have lines in it, so you're free to note wherever. So I thought I could just use it as like a little doodling book because all of my art books are quite like bougie paper. I want some places where I can just draw a doodle and not care and there's cats on it and it was only one dollar so staying on brand with the cat stuff this is the only other cat thing i bought i swear i'm not cat obsessed and it happens to be cat stationery once again it's a cat pencil sharpener he's sitting on a can of pencil tuna I really needed a new pencil sharpener and this one was calling out to me to the point where I bought two. I bought the white one and the black one and I gave that one to my sister because we at the moment share the same pencil sharpener and we just knock on each other's bedroom every now and again being like yo can I have the sharpener and it's just a scramble of where have I put the sharpener and you can't lose something that's this adorable but wait there's more you see this little door that's why you sharpen the pencil. <laughs> Japan, sometimes I am just a bit... why? But anyway, if you're doing mad sharpening time, you can actually attach it to a water bottle and fill the whole thing with sharpening. Wow. Okay, that's him. He only has like one sharpener hole. Well, I'd assume so, haha. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the pencil boy. But I know you guys are here for the LPS thing, so let me move on to some of that. I'm in a box. A display case to be in effect. So I picked up some of these little display cases because I thought that they were pretty neat. Um, I didn't even realize till I got home that there's like a two part platform so I could actually line like three or four pets there and then three or four at the back, which is really nice. I could only grab a couple of these since I had to fit them in my suitcase on the way home and I had a ton of other stuff. I would have loved to have got a ton of these so I could display them across the top and they were only 100 yen each so like 80p, one dollar, that's really cheap because when you look at these kind of things on eBay they're pretty expensive, they can be like five pound each and that will add up. But yeah because I had to have these in my suitcase on the way back I filled them with things, so I had to take off their original labels. But this is what they had wrapped around them, it says mini display case, they are stackable. Don't know if you can see that, yeah they're stackable. And it's the same thing and on the back it has the dimensions which is pretty handy. So yeah I thought I could use these um, to display my pets. And if I ever go to conventions I won't really have to worry about people touching my mascots um, or if I had any... If I ever end up selling like customs at conventions, I could also put them in these if they're ones that I really want to protect. Um, and I also got one small one. I haven't opened this one yet. It's a clear cube. Okay, here we go. So, that opens up. It doesn't actually have a hinge, it just has a piece of tape, so that's kind of a bit budget. If I was ever doing like a future meet and greet or something, I could like put Mermaid Memories cast in here and then like another series cast for the future and I could put my mascot Pride and Joy singular on her own and it's the Tower of Alice LPS sorry my ring light is like ruining the shot let me oh now it's dark but yeah I just thought these would be pretty handy and even if I don't use them for conventions I can just use them to display my pets at home and they won't get dusty 
One, two, socks for you. <laughs> Japan does really cute socks, and usually they're in shops for like three pairs for a thousand. So technically I can get ten of these for a thousand yen. There's little roses on them, and then they have like kind of a sheer thing. So yeah, I got these ones in one seria, and then you went to a different seria, and they had them in a blue colour. So I was like, yay, sock time. Seria isn't really the god almighty of uh, miniatures for LPS, but it is the god almighty of things to customise LPS. So these I found in the nail section. Usually the nail sections have like crafty things, like rhinestones and things like that. They're always worth checking out, so I found these. They're called mirror powder and it gives it like a metallic effect. So I thought I could try it on LPS and try and make like a metallic robotic custom or something. So in this four part diagram there is a black nail polish coat, then you kind of dab on the pigment and swipe it around and then put a clear coat on top. So I guess I'll do a black coat of acrylic, then wipe the powder around and then seal it with like Mod Podge or something. I'm not sure how long it will last or how I will be able to rub it in the smaller cracks but we'll see how it goes and I don't know if there's actually enough pigment for a full LPS but I'll try. But have a quick look. I've just realised I've got paint under my nails. Sorry that looks disgusting. It isn't food, it's paint, I swear. There's a plastic cover on the top. I don't, I don't want this to like explode everywhere because it's really fine. Ooh. Okay, that is really... Ooh. Okay, wait, I, I don't want this to explode. I'll leave that the topper in because it's already kind of on my desk. I'll try these out and I'll let you know on Instagram how good they are. Okay, I may have gone a bit wild with the Whipple, but <laughs> you can't really get these in the UK. They're kind of like a fake whipped cream that dries hard, so people use it for phone cases and things like that. But I thought I could make some cute like dessert LPS, like uh, maybe I'll do a launch on um, Etsy at some point with like dessert pets and that'll be a cool theme. It'll be nice to launch some customs with themes. So I got two in white and two in chocolate. They also had uh, pink but I've never really seen pink icing much. I don't know. But yeah I thought chocolate would be interesting. I've never seen chocolate whipple before so I was like I'll try it out. We'll see how it goes and these were only 100 yen each. But yeah I'll let you know how that goes over on Instagram as well because I'd like to post my custom updates on there. Once again, these are more for resin charms, but yeah, I don't really see how I could incorporate this onto an LPS custom, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway because they're really cute. I could make some cute little Starbucks charms and things like that. They even have like Choco Corner and cakes and stuff, but these are really cute. They have such a cute variety of stickers for only a dollar in Japan, so yeah, got some birds. He's like staring into my soul and I kind of had to buy him, so got birds. Then I got some cute little rabbits. I kind of want to open this up because the plastic is reflecting. Oh, I like the packaging. It's like a bottle, but it's a bit deceiving. You don't get that many stickers in there. And they have gold foiling, which I thought was a nice touch. So there's some flowers and some cute lop-eared bunnies with some gold foiling as well. This set is mostly flowers, but... I mean, I think I'll be able to use all of them in resin at some point. And this last pack is just like letters and some numbers. It's actually meant to be like labels, but I thought I could use them to spell out words in resin. I quite like the font and it was simple. I think this is the last thing actually. That's kind of sad. Our adventure is almost over <laughs> and I didn't really save the best thing till last. Um, it's a silicone gummy mold, but it makes cute animals. <laughs> There's some real simple instructions, but it's about chocolate making, I think. Even though the pictures on the front show jelly, it's showing chocolate here, so... Hmm. I figured I could use it for two-part resin and make some cute earrings and necklaces and stuff. So yeah, make little bears. You can't really see, but they have little cute faces and stuff, so yeah. So, I guess that's a wrap on my 100 yen adventure in Japan. Let me know what your favourite things were in the comments down below from this video and also let me know what your favourite shop was from part 1, 2 or 3. I think Daiso had a good amount of stuff but none of it was particularly aimed at certain things like miniatures. 
Like Daiso has a great variety of stuff but nothing out of the norm really. Whereas when I went into Kandu they had random garden benches and things like that which was pretty interesting. Whereas Saria had a really great variety of craft things which I'm really into at the moment. Um, so if you're a crafty person and find yourself in Tokyo, check out Saria. It's 100 yen and there's lots of craft things, not even just resin. They had knitting and sewing and felting and lots of things. But honestly, I would recommend all three shops. I know it sounds cheesy, but they're all great for different things. Home goods, clothes, socks, shoes, not really shoes. They actually had Crocs. They had Crocs in 100 yen shop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm rambling now. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button to be notified of future videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!